Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks again, once again, for joining me on my musical journey under the glass moon. All right, so earlier this week, we checked out our first dive into uh, the band Body Slam from Thailand with a nice rock ballad of theirs. I believe it was called Love. Um, and as we do on this channel, uh, we love to check bands out live uh, to see if they can do what they do on their studio albums in a live performance. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, this is the newest video on Body Slam's YouTube page. We picked the most popular one earlier this week. Now we're doing the most recent one, and it happens to be live. And I believe the song is called Life is Still Beautiful. You'll have to correct me again if I'm wrong. I'm just using Google to Translate to get some of the stuff. And pretty much everything on there is in Thai. Um, and it appears that this is a performance from an anniversary concert of some sort from 2019. And I'm looking forward to hearing them live. But before we get into the song, I want to take a minute, remind everyone about our Patreon page. There's literally something there for everyone. We have uh, behind the scenes, we have raw audio of drum covers, all different kinds of angles of drum covers, uh, early access, voting in Patreon polls, all kinds of things. Go check it out. There's a link in the description below. You won't be disappointed. Like I said, a little bit of everything for everyone with tears starting at just $1. All right, let's get into this reaction. A link to this original video will be in the description below. All right, Body Slam live. Let's check this out. Already amazing picture there. That's just nuts. Jesus. Almost like a marching band. Uh, snare drum. Very tight. It's a really cool stadium they're into. All right, this is this is, seems like it's going to be building up to something. It started out and they keep adding more instrumentation into it. It's a really cool introduction. This the phones here reminds me a lot of like when Baby Metal has them put their phones out. Um, it looks like a sea of stars, and that's really cool. Um, I see that a lot in these types of videos. I don't see it a lot over here in the U.S. I don't go to many concerts, but see it more over there probably because here in the u.s everyone's too busy recording everything including myself but uh but that it's just an amazing visual especially when they get those uh wide lens or the wide views and they have the entire stadium it just looks really cool like i said i'm, I'm enjoying this so far i'm loving the build-up let's go back They've at you. I don't think they're physically there, but you can hear an orchestra, so it's probably tra backing track. 
again, I'm loving the instrumentation that they're adding into this song. It just gives it so much space. Like I'm looking here, I don't see an orchestra. So I mean, it could be down in a pit somewhere here, but I, I'm guessing it's just a backing track. And I love when they do that. It sounds really good. Wait a minute. Was there something back there? Okay, I was wrong. It appears there is a full, you know, wind instruments and stringed instruments up on the top of the stage up there. That is awesome. Uh, very, very cool. That is so cool. All right, I'm definitely, definitely impressed so far. Uh, I, I love the sound that's coming out of this. Again, it's not very heavy. I I wasn't expecting it to be heavy um, because I'm pretty sure in the uh, Leave It All Behind collaboration, uh, a lot of people were saying that don't expect them to be the same heaviness that was in that song, and that's fine. This is, this is it's really good. Everything just, it just sounds good. It's mixed really well. I love that they added the, they have the real instruments up on top of that stage up there. I love that little, that little piece. It's not just backing track. That is fantastic. It just gives it that little bit more that it needs. And this is obviously a big deal. Um, I'm assuming in Thailand here, that stadium is just, just the shape of it is cool as hell. And the fact that all those phone lights are out during all of this is really, really cool. Let's, uh, let's keep going. I'm guessing All right, so now I have to ask the question Were those actually phone lights? 
the entire time in the, I mean, we saw people holding him up, but if that's the case, how the hell did they do that? Or are those, li are those lights specifically for this moment? Um, are they on like the chairs or the seating? Uh, and then obviously they're controlled. But I don't see how that would be possible <laughs> with, with everyone's individual phone lights. So I'm going to guess it has to do more with that, that. That specific lighting is on the chairs and the seating. But regardless of what it is that was cool as hell let's watch it again <laughs> excuse me Or how? What? Okay. Now, obviously, I I don't understand Thai. I'm guessing he's giving instructions here. But how do you get? I believe it said in the comments. The only thing I could pretty much read that was in English. It's like 130,000 people here. How do you get them to synchronize like that? That is insane. <laughs> How does that even happen? That is cool as hell. That's where we got to check that out again. Because I, you could see right there that that was people holding up their phones. Drama! It's either phone lights or they were given a light at the beginning of the concert, like when they walked in. Regardless, that's cool as hell. That, how? All right, so he's holding the same light. So I'm guessing I'm going way off on a tangent on the music here. This is technologically cool to me. Uh, but I'm guessing everyone was given something similar to that, uh, similar like in Baby Metal where they gave him like the neck braces. Uh, I'm guessing those lights are controlled by someone in a lighting area. So if they can control how the wave actually looks in case, you know, giant group of the crowd decides, you know, to be a dick and not participate. <laughs> But uh, so I'm guessing that's how it works. But regardless, that is still cool as hell. Uh, I thought it was cool as hell when I saw Baby Metal do it. When y'all told me it was the neck braces they all got. I'm assuming it's something similar in technology wise here. Very cool. Two, one, two, one, two, and that is literally everyone raising. Two, that is insane. Those are phones. All right, I'm changing my opinion again. I think he just has that much control over uh, the crowd here. That is absolutely insane um, that they have pretty much 130,000 people or however many people are actually here participating in unison. That is crowd control beyond belief. You could just, you could plainly see his day in that, that that was, uh, phones, phone lights. <laughs> Blows my mind. And this is a, so cool. Yeah, that they yeah, apparently didn't need technology to do this.
<laughs> this is cool as hell. That is freaking awesome. A body slam fest. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, wow. I'm still, I'm, all right, so what the hell can you even say about that? The amount of control that was there is freaking awesome. Obviously, I'm guessing that was the end, their final song, maybe before the encore. It could have been the encore. I don't know. However, just because of the pyrotechnics that happened at the end, it usually happens at the very end of the show. It, it blows my mind, the amount of control and that the fact that that many people actually went along with how it goes. I mean, excuse my skepticism, but I cannot imagine that going as well in a lot of uh, American concerts. Just because, you know, we can be dicks. <laughs> However, that was, I mean, that just, that the whole ending there just blew my mind. I was not expecting that. And when I originally started talking about it, I said it has to be technological control like they did with the baby metal uh, neck braces and then when they get the close-ups and you can see hundreds if not thousands of people in shots actually holding up their phones to create waves to create the patterns that are going on um, in that giant stadium wow uh, that is some dedication to a band you guys said this is like the most popular band in Thailand it shows there, man. I mean, I don't obviously I don't know many other Thai bands at all except for F Hero, but wow, that was impressive overall. I enjoyed that a lot. Song was great. Um, I love the build. It was just had a very bunch of emotion. If if that was the final song before the encore, if it was the encore and very last song altogether, very fitting exit of the concert. It was a. Uh, it seems like it would have brought everything together. Um, yeah, I'm loving this. So yeah, if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our Patreon. I will catch you all next time. So if you enjoyed this reaction, check out this playlist right here and get more just like it. While you're at it, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and then hit that little notification bell so you know whenever I drop a new reaction. With that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you the next time the glass moon rises.